Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. So this time we'll do an indoor video because we have a lot of snow outside and um, I don't take this beauty here outside in the snow. I did that a couple of times, but you know what? It's getting old enough that I really care for this vehicle and I love it. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite. <laughs> I think you all know it is. And um, so keep it nice and dry in here while I drive that Tesla as a um, daily driver. Because um, the uh, town car is not only my favorite, but also your favorite, I thought I'd make a video about it and tell you a little bit of its story. You know, the story of my town car. When did I get it? Um, what did I do with it? And yeah, what part of the country does it come from? So I mentioned it a couple times. I don't think I uh, really went into the details. So, and while I'm telling you about it, let's just walk around it and enjoy the car. Man, I should have moved that snow blower here. We, we do need that snow blower too. So I should do a review about the snow blower. What do you think? That might be something a couple of you might enjoy that as well. So my town car is an 07. It uh, was built in 07 and it's an 07 Signature Limited town car. So in 03 the um, model changed as you know. Um, and most guys think there was only minor changes uh, the body but it, 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 that's completely different you know. Was, a lot of changes were made in 2003 and I'm not gonna list you all those changes. I mean that would be pretty pretty boring but a couple of them is, so they put a thicker uh, sound insulation in the wheelhouses, roof, uh, body pillars and doors, you know, to reduce the noise, uh, the, the noise intrusion, you know, for a quieter ride. And um, that, that was in all the models, you know, not just on, on uh, the top models. By the way, the top model in 07 was the designer, it used to be the Cartier. And it was the designer, and I believe after that it was the ultimate. And I do not like those names. <laughs> Who else doesn't like them? I mean, why did they not leave the Cartier? But yeah, anyways. Also, new hydraulic engine mounts, you know, um, and they were tuned to control the engine, engine shake and the resonance to reduce noise, you know, vibration, harshness. And um, that kind of tells you what the clientele was back then. They want a, a nice car that looks conservative and um, that just rides quiet, you know, has a soft, quiet ride. And that's exactly what Lincoln did in 03. They made it so it's even quieter inside and it rides even softer than uh, the previous uh, model before the, the uh, facelift, you know. So there were a lot of changes. Also, the wheels changed from 16 inch to 17 inch. For the standard wheels like this one has the 17th anyways in 03 um the prices i believe started at about forty thousand bucks for i think an executive and uh for a signature uh limited i believe it was i looked it up <laughs> this was forty five thousand. Uh, now when i this one here i want to say when i bought mine i didn't buy it <laughs> back then um can't remember what it cost i'll look that up maybe i'll put it in the video it was in the 40s too it was a pretty expensive car and 60 percent of the buyers back then were repeat buyers so lincoln buyers really loved lincoln and they um bought another lincoln again which is which is great i think that's just that's just great you know and um sometimes i wish i had a designer model because the designer has i read somewhere it has additional chrome i don't know if that's true but i do know the leather is a little different inside it has adjustable headrests in the back fog lamps i believe and um what else does it have it doesn't have too much difference but a couple of things are a little better and uh look a little nicer speaking of uh the owners I am not the first owner, as you know by now, um, and I have a Carfax for the car, brand new Carfax, and we'll go over that together just after I'm done talking here. So we'll look at the Carfax, and I'll tell you what's been done to the car and where exactly 
it's been before and how many owners it had. So what I have, what have I done on the car? I bought two batteries. You'll say why two? Because um, it came with the first battery. You know, it had the first battery in still when I got it. Um, and of course the first battery didn't last forever. Batteries don't last that long. And then I did something uh, silly, I did an experiment. I bought the cheapest battery that I could find. And the very cheapest battery I could find was one at Walmart, Walmart brand battery. I didn't want anyone to see it, so I took the stickers off, put it in, and it lasted me two, two or three years, I believe, and then it was done. And after that, I bought another one again, and this, this one here, it's a Motocraft battery from Ford, you know, and here's the Max battery, so that's a good battery, and that will last me longer. I really do believe into Motocraft batteries. I never had one uh, that went bad after a short time. So, Motocraft batteries are quality batteries. I do recommend them. I bought two sets of tires. And why in the world did I do that? Because again, it came with Pep Boys, Pep Boys tires. Um, and why? Because they had white walls. I can't remember the name of them. <laughs> and I did not like them. It was raining ones and they were really um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not racing the car, but they were not good performing well at all in, uh, in the rain. So I replaced them, you know, and I had like Kumo tires or something. And they were cheaper, but they were good, but they wore off pretty quick. And then I got these here, and I was really out about these Goodyear tires here, you know. And I choose to put 235, 60, 17 on them. And they're a good tire, quality tire. I would prefer to have white walls, yes, but I do not go for the cheap ones that are made in China or Korea or wherever. I just, well, Korea is not as bad, but still, you know what I mean. I just didn't want them, okay? All right, so those are the things I changed. Changed the grill, you see that, saw that in the video. Change some light bulbs, but that's not uh, not that important stuff. So the important things, um, yeah, normal maintenance. Brakes are still good. The engine runs like brand new. No problems at all. I mean, it had the AC, um, the air conditioner refilled. First, I thought that might be a problem with it, but no. After it's been refilled, it worked perfect, and that's fine too. I mean. It gets really hot here in the summer and the first um, places it came from was in Florida, so it was hot there too. And uh, yeah, it's been a good car, it's been a really good car. Now, um, I've done a couple of long trips with it. I mean, one of them went to Boise, Idaho. That's about 288 miles, so one, one way, so that was a long trip. Um, another one, San Francisco. 834 miles from here so that took about 12 hours that was really uh really long and it, it was it was not the easiest trip you know uh, but it was really cool to drive in the town car and it it performed just just fine i mean really it did even go even even going up the pass i have a lot of cars that kind of struggled and the town car was just smooth. I mean, it's not the fastest, but it's always steady and it uh, has enough power. So, really good car to travel in. And the mileage is great too when you uh, take a longer trip. Also went to Montana, it was about 300 miles. And um, same deal, the weather was a little colder there. Uh, mileage was, I think it was still pretty good, yeah. So great, just, just a great vehicle. I mean, I like it, I like the design of it. I mean, I like the lines. You see the line comes down here. It's really cool, and yeah, it's slightly round here. I think that's um, very elegant. Um, a lot of people think it's a grandpa car, but I think nowadays people start changing their minds and they really appreciate it. I I'm getting a lot of compliments uh, with the old town car, which is something I never thought would happen 
like 10, 15 years ago, I never thought that would happen. Um, yeah. All right, see, I got the heat on in here where the other cars are, and I think I'll get the car fags out. We'll have a quick look at that, and um, we'll see what else we can show the town car. I would like to show the under, under body of it because it's really clean. Um, looks really good, really new, but I really can't get underneath now. So we'll have to do that another time. Maybe when the weather's good, we'll take it out. Because I do drive it when it's dry and when the snow is gone. Well, when will it be gone? I mean, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty messy out there. Still. Okay, let me go get the uh, Carfax and uh, we'll have a look at that. All right, I did change rooms and we're now where the heat is. So, Here's the car fax. I put it here on the Mercedes and um, that's a nice car too, different, I'm not as attached to it, but it is a nice car, I mean I love it for different reasons, so anyways, it's a different topic. Uh, here's the car fax for the town car, uh, let's see what we got here, it says three owners, now owner one, owner two and owner three, owner three is me, because I bought it in 2000. 11 and uh, at least I I thought I bought it in 2012 but it might have been 11 you know uh, the thing weird thing is it says eight months ownership in Florida and Utah I and mean, I've never been in Florida never lived there and I definitely owned it longer than eight months so I'm not sure how to read that maybe I'm not so good with Carfax maybe someone can tell me uh, how to read that now the um, last um, the last uh, reading there is 43,746 miles, which that's pretty close to what it is, so that's good. Um, yeah, that's the owners there. So one owner was just one year, and I think that was the car dealer there in Florida, because I know he said he um, uh, owned it after he bought it from the first owner. It's a weird story, you know, why the first owner did that. But anyways, there are no damage, you know, nothing has been manipulated, no airbag went out, so no accidents. And um, let's look at this. It was bought in um, Daytona Beach, Florida. And I looked up the dealership, it is still there. It says Ford only now, it doesn't say Ford Lincoln anymore. It's just sad, you know. Um, but that's a lot of dealerships they don't say Lincoln anymore okay but that's where the car was um, that's where the car was bought so interesting too it says it was bought in 06 but it is, is a uh, 07 model you know it definitely is an 07 model too so okay what do we have here let me turn that right inside is this uh yeah uh, so it was in Florida and different places. I see Orlando in there. And then it went to um, Palm City in Florida to a dealer and the dealer sold it. And that was the other owner now that owned it only for a short while. So he was in Palm City, uh, Florida. And um, I'm not that familiar now with Florida. I'll have to look that up where where um florida where palm city exactly is so and after that owner number three which this is weird yeah it says owner number three was in florida too a different town or city and then it was sold and uh, came to utah you know see there where it says utah then it came to Utah, you know, and that's McFarlane Ford, and that's um, why I took it for the first service when I got it to make sure it is uh, a, um, a good car and everything is good in it. So I'll, I'll go through that and I'll figure that out. You know, I honestly just printed that out a while ago and I didn't really look at it, okay? That's probably not smart, but I should have. And that's just 
general maintenance stuff here, you know, brakes checked, oil and filter changed, brakes checked, oil and filter changed, so that goes on and on and on, which shows that I take care of my car, and there's the AC refrigerant uh, recharged in there too, so I tell you, I'm not telling you stories about the car, you know, that is uh, all true what I told you. Um, yeah, the, the Carfax is not that important. However, it makes you feel good to have a um, Carfax. Uh, when I say however, I was think about a uh, certain YouTuber who test drives cars and reviews vehicles. And I'm sure you know who it is. Uh, he always says, however. <laughs> All right, that was the town car. A um, little bit of the um, background of the vehicle. I'll double check on where it was before we lived in Florida, where it came. A fun story, when I opened the trunk the first time when I got it, I found huge band-aids uh, in the trunk by the spare tire, like the big ones that you would have if you, if you had surgery or something uh, put on your stomach. And big, big, big band-aids were in there. <laughs> And uh, I also found a handwritten note with the code for the door. And you could tell it was in the, uh, this one here. And the, the writing looked like a very old person's handwriting. So, <laughs> uh, the story with the old guy that owned it is true in that case. Because you could really tell the band-aids, the, the handwriting, it, it all matched up. And I did not go visit the car when I bought it. I bought it just... Uh, talking uh, talking to, to the guy who sold it and um, looking at videos and pictures uh, which is a dumb idea you know you shouldn't do that but you know I'm not the dumbest channel on YouTube but I did that so and I bought it and it was not the cheapest uh, town car around either so not even going to mention what it cost it was not the cheapest but you know if you buy cheap you get cheap and this one it wasn't super expensive either but it wasn't that cheap and I got a good one and I am um, glad I did there's a couple issues that I was talking about in the last video if you haven't seen that video go ahead and check it out and um, I have a couple more things I will do on it and I'll do that over the winter here in the garage and uh, we'll be surprised we'll see what it will be and um, follow up with that I don't want to promise, maybe in a month or so, follow up and do another video and start doing a couple um, changes on the town car here in the garage. All right. I um, really appreciate all of you guys too, that you always watch the videos, especially the town car viewers. You know, you're the ones that make the channel, uh, keep the channel going, you know? <laughs> so. Thank you for that and thanks for watching. And a lot of them, a lot of you guys haven't subscribed yet, so please do that. Subscribe and always give me a thumbs up. You know, just makes me feel better about it. <laughs> and um, yeah, since it's later here, I wish you a good night and thanks for watching.